Hey, what's up, YouTube? Rahul here, back with an interesting video. You know, gamers don't like much of the introduction, so we'll directly jump into the video. Without any further ado, let's get started. If you just started playing PUBG Mobile, you may be a bit confused trying to figure out which is the best setting to play this game. Well, don't worry about it. The PUBG Mobile runs just fine even on the default settings. But here are some of the tweaks that you can actually do to win more chicken dinners. So the first thing is a very interesting tip. It's called the peek from behind cover. This setting is so good that it's baffling it's not enabled by default. Peek and fire allows you to get pop your head out when you're hiding behind cover and to shoot at enemies. This means to your enemies only your head will be visible and not your entire body. So if they want to aim then they can aim only at your head which is kind of difficult. To do this just go to settings under basics tap on enable next to peak and fire also you can do another thing that is called peak and open scope as soon as you start picking out and uh, firing the scope will open for you so that will be really easy to find your enemies and uh, shoot them as soon as possible but it depends on the player's perspective so you can enable it just by going again to the settings basics and tapping on enable peak and open scope also gamers if you don't like red color then please do hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon make it white let's get back to the video now the next thing is to change the crosshair color crosshair allows you to aim your weapon in every shooting games you can change its color in pubg mobile to make it easier to spot just go to settings and under basics and choose your preferred crosshair color well i'll go with black because it's easier to find it out and you know some of them are color blind so you can choose from variety of colors the next thing is to automatically pick up the loot ideally if you want to focus on gaming and not to keep on tapping the screen to pick up the loot this settings allows you to pick up guns ammo just by walking over these just go to settings and under pick up enable auto pick up Now coming to the fourth trick that is to customize the PUBG Mobile controls. Just go to settings that is the gear icon and click on controls, customize and there you'll be getting a lot of options as you can see on the screen. I'll increase the size of the fire button as well as some of the movement tricks and you can configure on your own. And it also depends on you if you are using two fingers or four fingers or even six finger trick to play this PUBG Mobile. So this setting is subjective. The next one is to set how much ammo you want to pick up because it's simply waste carrying a lot of ammo for only one gun if you have a level 1 or a level 2 bag. So what you can do is customize like you can set the limit of the ammo that it will pick for a particular gun. And to do this just go to settings and under pick up set the ammo limits for each and every gun that you would like to play with. Uh usually I play with AKM or Scarl so I'll keep them at 180 or 200. Usually it's all set to 180. Just make it to 200 so it will be easier. The next thing is about the style of the visuals. I'm talking about the graphic settings. Go to settings under the graphics column your phone will be set to the default settings and you can change it to ultra or even extreme it depends on the hardware that your phone has the system on chip snapdragon 8 series version can easily support this game at extreme settings so if you have that chipset in your phone you can play with extreme settings at the cost of your battery life again the setting is subjective so you need to check everything and then choose which one you want next thing is to change the color tone in the game that is classic colorful realistic soft or movie uh, i'll go with colorful so it will be easier to find out enemies the next thing is to change the angle of view that is tpp or fpp the third person view or the first person view i usually play with first person view because i'm used to it playing stand off so I'll go with the first person view. If you have never played any of these shooting games, then I suggest you to go with the third person, which is easier to espouse. The next thing is to add some of the quick chat to your messages. Just go to settings and under quick chat, you can add new messages that you prefer instead of just typing on the screen while playing PUBG. So it will be easier to send messages to your teammates as well as it will make your work quicker. The last thing is actually to switch off the mic and the speakers 
Every new player of PUBG Mobile finds it annoying to hear other players screaming into their mics. There is an easy way to disable in this game. Once you are in a game, tap the speaker icon and set it to off. And also you can turn off your microphone just by doing the same thing. And also let me know in the comment section down below which PUBG Mobile settings did you change and what was its effect. Well that was pretty much everything about this whole PUBG session. I really hope you guys enjoyed as well as like this video if yes please hit that subscribe button it really means a lot to me. Thanks a lot for sticking till the end and my name is Rahul and I am signing out. Take care guys.